welcome to Working Man Outdoors Review. One of the things we like to do from time to time is take a minute and review the products that we use in order to put together our hunts. Today we're going to review our trail cameras and let you know what we think about different models we have. Whenever we set up a trail camera, we of course like to put minerals out to draw the deer to it and keep them there for a moment while we take pictures of them. And this is what we use year after year. We use Record Rack uh, Mineral Block. This is just our uh, typical block that we get. It's just at our local tractor supply company. It's a, uh, it's a good block, I suppose any block would do. Um, we put some buck jam on there. This right here really keeps the deer around. And then we always sprinkle it down with some Lucky Buck after the fact. Let me show you how we like to set it up. You can see we've got our mineral block here kind of in a little uh, swell, if you will, or a hole. Um, reason being, we've actually found that we're on a bit of a hill here, if you can see behind me. Uh, if we don't put it down in a little impression here, the deer will chase this thing all the way down the hill and it'll get out of your camera shot. So we got our mineral block here. First thing we like to do is cover it with this, um, this buck jam. This kind of sweetens it up and uh, we apply quite a bit on there. You can see it comes out like syrup and uh, covers this whole block. Next thing I like to do is add that lucky buck around it and this will kind of help keep the deer there longer. So I'll put it on top of the block and all around it in the soil. And again, it kind of helps keep the deer, deer here and uh, they sustain this, this spot a little longer. Just grab a stick here and I kind of mix it in with the leaves and the dirt. We've got our camera set up on this block. Come back in a week and check it out. Okay, we have three different cameras that we're gonna review in three different price ranges. The first one we're gonna look at here is the Cuddyback IR. This one is our higher price range uh, model. It probably costs anywhere from 189 to 209, depending on where you buy it. This is a great camera. It has a uh, quarter second uh, trigger speed. So uh, active trails or anything that uh, you think the deer are gonna be moving on, this is your camera. Um, we've been using it now for a couple weeks this season and um, we're really impressed with it. It's so easy to use. The memory card just goes on the top like so. To set it, all you have to do is pop open the back here and there's a dial that all we do is twist it to how many pictures we want and whether you want it pictures or video. So I'm gonna say I want a picture every five seconds, no video, and I'm ready to go. I'm gonna seal it up here. It takes four double, or excuse me, eight AA batteries. Um, they've lasted us about three weeks so far of active use. Locks onto the tree like that, and we're all set to go. Okay, our next camera that we're gonna review is a stealth cam. I got this at Walmart or Sam's Club. I think it was $119 or $129, somewhere around there. It's not a bad camera. Um, not totally happy with it. Runs on eight AA batteries, so the battery life is okay. What I feel is I miss a lot of pictures. I, I get a lot of empty shots where I think the trigger speed is just too slow. Something will walk through and I didn't catch it. It seems to whitewash a lot, uh, first thing in the morning and last thing at night. And I think the moral of the story here is just stick to your name brand cameras, you're gonna be happier. And finally, the last camera we're gonna to review today is the Primos 35. Uh, this model here is a couple years old. I think that the one out now is called the Primos 55, but this camera costs us less than $100. Uh, for your money, it's a pretty good camera. Takes, takes reliable pictures. Uh, it's got a one second trigger speed, so it's a little bit slower. Ideally, you're gonna put it over a food source, or a, a food plot, a, a feeder, something where the deer are more stationary. Um, very little instances of whitewash. Um, what's good about that is it doesn't usually entirely whitewash at uh, low light hours, so you can still make out what, what you're seeing. Um, couple downsides are it does take uh, D batteries so they, don't, they only last about two weeks it can get kind of expensive to run but if you're looking for a good camera under a hundred dollars set it forget it it's an easy camera to use get the Primos uh, their customer service is is known to be really great um, I would say if you're looking for a camera that's got a faster trigger speed and you want to put on a trail go with the Cuddyback. back